Hello everyone, today's lesson is about Plotly. Uh, Plotly firstly is a library also implemented in Python. The difference between Plotly and all uh, other libraries that we already passed um, through is because Plotly is interactive library. So it means that the visualization are interactive. Uh, this feature is obtained um, because in the backend we have some HTML components. So we have um, uh, the plot is um, uh, in some words all contain uh, it's um, all part of an HTML component. So um, you can make a dashboard available online. You can make your own dashboard dashboard on a website. Either you can just run it um, in your Jupyter notebook or um, run it with a, a Flask uh, server. You can run it on local host or hosting it on some public available um, a web source. Uh, now, um, as I said, uh, we have all the functionalities. Maybe um, this is like advanced um, advanced library. Uh, library. Uh, that uh, is using, as I said, HTML components together with the uh, analytic part uh, that's already implemented in all other visualization libraries uh, that we uh, passed through. Uh, today, again, we are going to start with the file detection dataset. We have, uh, as previously mentioned, x, y, and z. Uh, these values are from given uh, characteristics from, from the sensors, that's chest, belt, ankle left, ankle right, and the anomaly either 0 or 1 if we have or uh, we have not found any um, anomaly into the uh, given trajectories. Uh, now, firstly, we're going to import the plot limb. We are importing with plot limb and express. Uh, why plot limb? As express is a part of the library where we have, um, let's say, express access to all the features uh, that we need. Now let's take a look of firstly histogram. So if we go like previously, just calling a histogram and on we uh, add here the whole data set, it's and on X we add the name of the column that we want to visualize. So we have X and let's take a look. Now here is the values for x. As you can see, we have one count for 5.5 till 6, one, uh, 51 count for 6 till 6.5, the maximum of se uh, 763 counts for x between 7.5 and 8. If you want to add particular number of beans, we add n beans as a new argument, new parameter, and let's say 10 beans, we have these values appearing. So the biggest one is 1,700 um, approximately between 7 and 9 value of x. Um, what's the, let's say, the biggest advantage of the Plotly is that, as I said, it has hover, it's interactive. You can take a look of each of these bars. Uh, and we have the count here and x here available. If you want to make it uh, even, uh, you add even one more dimension, you can make a color. It should be, for example, one of the uh, features that we have, for example, anomaly. It's mainly a categorical for coloring. So we're having coloring for anomaly, either not having or having. So the values are, as you can see, this is a stacked bar. What's a stacked bar? So after finishing with the zero count, it starts with the second. As you can see, there are just uh, 247 counts of anomaly in this range. Uh, you can make it by sensor. 
And here is the set for the sensors. Now we have for ankle right, ankle left, belt and sensor. As we see, this is a parallel. Also, what we can do is here to add a pattern shape. It's like adding one more dimension. Uh, here it is, pattern shape. We're going to say anomaly for pattern shape. Now, as you can see, here is added a pattern. It means that we are having uh, pairs of chest and zero anomaly, chest and one anomaly, belt, sensor and anomaly zero, belt sensor and anomaly one, ankle left for one and zero anomaly and ankle right for both anomalies. As you can see now we have double up the number of uh, pairs that appeared in the previous uh, histogram. With this we can make a simulation of the distribution between the grouping of our history. The next is the line plot. Now, the line plot that we previously take a look, now we're gonna compare it and have our full data set, the data frame, the X values are X column, Y values, Y column. Let's take a look. Here it is. Now, what's the good side is that we can go through make a hover and get the values. Again, you can add a color, for example, sensor. And now we have for each sensor, the data. Maybe uh, we can just select where the first sensor uh, equals uh, chest, no, let's say belt, for example. And here, color anomaly. Now, as you can see how the data goes. So in this line where the values are of epsilon are between 10 and 12, at the beginning we have anomaly at eight. And here is a big change as I previously said, from this point, the data goes directly to this point and it has one more anomaly detected. Uh, as you can see, we can have a look of X, Y axis and the anomaly value by hovering um, through the graph. Uh, the next, after the line plot that we obtained was the skater plot. Uh, if we take a look of the skater plot right here, here, just calling skater, again, the whole data set, and then values for X and values for Y. So let's say X and for Y, Z. Uh, now, our skater, as you have, it has logistic sum, uh, some log, let's say, a function, dependency, and here are all the values appearing. So this is some... I will say um, it's outlier appearing. The data here is uh, uh, not so, um, it's not in a fraud. And uh, that's the first that I can take a look of. Then I can add a coloring to it and take a look of the sensor. Now the sensor that we have, as you can see, all the sensor are having like normal distribution. In each part, we have each sensor appearing. Now you can either select just one sen sensor and take a look of the values, then select the belt, take a look of the values, or select the ankle, ankle right and ankle left together. That's the good part. You can zoom in. Uh, and uh, then zoom out if you want to go more precise in the uh, plot. It's like I said, interactive is an HTML component. The next is for the bar plot. We are going to take a look of bar. 
and x will have uh, the values from the sensor uh, we need to take the values uh, counts we already did this and take the values on the other hand for epsilon i'm gonna take uh, from the sensor uh, value counts i'm gonna take the indexes now if we take a look here there are a horizontal uh, a, a horizontal bars now bar h h um, now if we make it this gives us error because bar h um, exists in plotly but not um, uh, it not it's not existing in a plotly only um, it's existing uh, in matplotlib so we need to make um, one more i'm gonna just make this cell and we need i'm gonna copy it and add orientation to be vertical now as you can see uh, ankle bell chest right uh, ankle right are here and here is some bars why because the x values are the counts we need to make the counts epsilon values and x values the label of the sensor so inverse and here is our graph if you want from horizontal to make it vertical to appear the bar plot um, now the next point of view uh, is um, uh, with the plot lead to make some um, advance um, advance so let's say uh, visualization uh, we are gonna go uh, for example to uh, make a um, pie chart uh, when we make pie chart we need the pie figure and then go with the df data set uh, what's our values let's say um, so um, if we have the data set here appearing df we can take a look of the values for x and the anomaly or the sensors so we can have x and the uh, names should be for example sensor now if we take a look here they are so what uh, what is counted now what we can see the values uh, previously we made count here but in the pie chart uh, the count goes per instance so are counted the instance where we have ankle right where we have ankle left from the x labels it uh, doesn't matter what's the uh, value of x what's matter is how many instances of x have sensor chest for example and there are um, um, 28.6 percentage of the data you can either select or deselect as you can see the pie chart um, is uh, rounding on 100 and is um, adding or uh, removing each of the sensors or you can make it like this also adding chest and ankle as you can see chest is more accurate um, this is one part um, and um, uh, from the pie chart you can learn uh, how the your data how the percentage of your data is calculated now as last uh, visualization that we are going to make is the heat map so we're going for heat map with im show i'm show and go for the whole df data set now as you can see sensor here we don't have our none values for color because 
the sensors uh, are having um, categorical data. Uh, the anomaly, it's not having any values at all. So I'm going to just select uh, the last, the first three rows, uh, first three columns, sorry. And here, what you can see is how the data goes. So from the heat map, we can take a look how X is changed, how Y is changed, and how Z is changed. So does they have any, let's say, correlation between if, um, as you can see here, having same values? Um, in this way, we go through uh, the pi, um, the plot limb, uh, mainly basic functionalities. In the next video, you will take a look of advanced uh, visualizations using